Well, Jeremiah Stemple is on the line here, and let's do a quick time check. What time is it for you right now? 5.30 a.m. Wow, that's really early. You must be very tired. Yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. Now, you've started a comic book company as a way to give chronic patients like yourself some superheroes to identify with. What are you able to tell us about the comic books that you make, really? Uh, so far, we've made ones for cystic fibrosis, which is a disease as I have. Yeah. We've done pediatric brain cancer and now we're doing type 1 diabetes. Ooh. Um, hopefully we take the, the what the kids tell us about their experience with their disease and make it into a superhero comic book so that we can educate people as well as show the world how strong these kids really are. Yeah, that's interesting. How does it actually work then? Do the characters defy the expectations of their disease? Uh, basically, yeah. Like mm. I don't know if you, remember, if you ever saw the old like uh, Captain Planet cartoons, oh. um, but kind of the 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 struggles for the kids, like you know, with cystic fibrosis, it's a respiratory disease, and with pediatric brain cancer, it's the you know they're tired and their treatments are really old, things like that. We make those the actual villains in the story. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Yeah, and then we work. Uh, we take a lot of the treatments and the medical devices they use and work that into like their powers and their costumes. Oh yeah, and where did this idea come from in the first place? Uh, it started with just me wanting to find an interesting way to spread information about cystic fibrosis mm. and when I was looking for an artist to help me do the artwork part uh, a couple of guys thought it would be cool to make a whole comic book of it so we did yeah and we just ended up getting some attention and now we're on our third one wow and who are the target market is it people who can relate with these diseases and health issues or could it be anyone that's interested in comics uh, really anyone because mm. the way we have it written is it is an educational comic but it's yeah. real subtle when you're reading it it's just a fun comic book yeah but then at the end we go kind of do an editorial page where we explain like what we were touching on a little bit deeper mm. so you know it's fun for the people who don't care about the education part and then for the people who do that's there too yeah the education part is kind of important because perhaps it will teach people about these health issues when they don't really know what these diseases are because of course I've got to be honest cystic fibrosis I hear it all the time but I've got no idea what it actually is really a lot of people don't it's mm. um it's only, it's only recently started getting a lot of public attention, so. Yeah. And you're actually using these comics to raise money, aren't you? Yes, sir. All the profits go to the charities we work with for each individual cause. Wow. Like, uh, me, and my, me and my team don't get paid anything. Yeah. And is that sort of the combined profit gets divided, or would it be the comic book for a certain health issue will go towards that health issue? Uh, we have it divided where each individual cause gets, whoever buys that book and that merch, it goes to that charity. Mm. So it's all divided up, you know, whichever one they're buying, that's who it goes to. Yeah. How many comic books have you done so far then? Oh, we're on our third. Ooh. And on the way, do you have plans yet for what ones you might want to do in future? Uh, I mean, we have a list of ones that we would like to do, but really it just depends on what charities are willing to work with us. Yeah, that's the thing. But do you necessarily have to work with a charity or could you still do it on your own? I mean, we could do it on our own, but with uh, since the way we're set up and we don't, you know, we don't make any money off of it at all mm. it's easier for us to work with a charity because a lot of them already have like backers and donors yeah who can help cover the production cost mm, that's and then it just, all, all the profit just goes right back to them yeah and in terms of the production i take it you're not doing this all yourself do you have artists and writers and things like that uh we have three main people there's myself um my partner who does all the writing and then we have a guy named Donovan who does all the penciling. Oh. And then we hire artists depending, you know, depending on availability when we're each working on each book. Mm. And the penciling, is that just sort of a rough outline before the artist comes in? Uh, I mean, it is a, it's a rough outline, but there's enough detail there so that, you know, when the colorist comes in, he knows exactly what he's coloring. Yeah. And how's COVID been? Because I don't know if you would have wanted to do this anyway, but you wouldn't have been able to all work in the same room unless you left together at certain parts. And also sales 
maybe we might not have been able to sell in comic book stores because they're not really essential in things, are they? Um, COVID definitely set us back a little bit. Mm. We had we were originally had five or six comic book conventions we were supposed to be at that we had to cancel because you know they got canceled. Yeah. Uh, but my team and I actually don't even live in the same state. Wow. A couple of us don't even live in the same country, so we do everything <laughs> online and through emails and stuff like that, anyways. Yeah. That... So that that part didn't really hurt us so bad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then you didn't really have to adapt in any way. Right. The hard the hardest part with the with us adapting was because mm. we didn't have comic book conventions as a outlet anymore. We had to you know do a whole lot more pushing online. Oh. You know, try and do what we could. Yeah, absolutely. So, when you're not doing these comic books, do you have any other fun things that you like to spend your time doing? Oh, I play an insane amount of video games. Uh, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering. Um, hanging out with my kids and the animals. Yeah. It's pretty much it. <laughs> Great. Well, where are we able to check out the comic books if we'd like to find them? Are they available online or do we have to find you? They are available online at heroesforcauses.com. Yeah, great. And is there anywhere we can keep up to date on social media? Uh, absolutely. On um, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok, I'm under Pathway CF Superhero. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for joining us on the show today. It's been great to have you here. Thanks for having me.